What's up, Internet? It is March 18th, 2019. We are here in the town looking at our mail, mostly junk from home. No thanks. Uh, Mr. Nook, who is selling a painting, so we might have to get that for Blithers. So he'll stop complaining that we're not doing enough for him, and the HRA, who's complaining that our house is a mess. Terrific. Uh, but we're still on the quest to have the perfect town. The most perfectest town that ever will exist. Already have the plum bonsai, nothing new there. Let's see what our old pal Mr. Museum sent to us. Because things sent to me by people are always awesome. So let's see, we've got a trilobite. An ammonite. I actually have a, uh, a, a like a personal casting of a trilobite I took a long time ago when I went to a dinosaur museum. They let me do that. It was really neat. And another ammonite. None of them worth anything, but they'll give us a couple of bells. We know Blithers won't take them because he's really, really unhappy with just random donations. Not like me. I'll take anything. It helps the show and that makes me happy. So we got a mod top. Is it mod urn? Uh, it's simply something I wouldn't ever care to wear. Back to the Hawaiian shirt it is then. Alright, so we are here in the town. I'm gonna go talk to Mr. Nook, sell some bones, make a few bells, and uh, just see what we're gonna do for the day. Definitely gotta go talk to the Wishing Well, see what's up with him. Alright, there's a few bells for you, Mr. Nook, and a few bells for me on behalf of Mr. Nook. That's kind of a nice little parasol, it's kind of like silk looking or something. Though I imagine silk's not very good in the rain. I don't think we have this part, and I am kind of collecting the regal furniture, so I might grab that. Wow, that is... Puzzling is a good word for it. Let's try it on. Yeah... No, I, I think I'll stick to good old Hawaiian shirt. We'll take this painting, though. And that will go to Blithers, and we might take that regal thing so we can throw it in our house, because I kind of like the regal set. It's a nice it's a nice baseline set for my stuff. It's, it's white, it's gold, it's just kind of stylish. It's a little pricey, but, you know, we collected some bones to sell. Aww. And my girlfriend's here. Yay! That makes everything better. Got some pink cosmos. And some red tulips. But not any red three lips. We have some blue cosmos. To go yell at those damn coordinators for stealing all our Gundams. And some yellow pansies. The cowards. And finally, some white pansies. Alright, so, I guess we're gonna go back to, uh, making the entrance to the town even better by making it a giant flower garden. It is getting kind of annoying not being able to run anywhere, but still, I think it's almost worth it. Ooh, let's get rid of these. That, that might have almost given us the non-perfect town rating. I'm a little worried we're gonna have to go check that once we're done with this. We need the perfect town rating, that's the whole point. That's what we've been doing for like a month now. It has to be exactly perfect! Or else, what's the point? It's not perfect, we don't get the completely pointless prize of the thing that you'd only use to get the perfect town in the first place. Alright, uh, I do not have any room for any of this stuff. Crap. And I don't have any uh, headphones, so I can't listen to my joyride, so I can't get rid of them just yet. Oh well, we'll, uh, we'll hold on to this for the moment. Probably already have this regal piece of furniture, too. I just spent like 4,000 bells on basically nothing. Awesome. Hey, pecan! Okay, so. Please tell me it's still perfect. Yay! Still perfect! I think we've been going on for almost a week now for more perfectness, so hopefully RNG won't screw us in the last week like it did before. I'm sorry I forgot about you, Pecan. You need a thing? 
I will go get your camera from Bitty. So do we have anyone new in the town? Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. And Cody Brainfart's still here as much as we'd like him to leave. Alright, let's let's give this thing to Blithers because we have to donate to the arts just as you can donate to my channel and make it a better place for everyone because gaming. Take a painting, Blithers, and then leave me alone. And if you tell me it's a forgery, I will smack you with it. I was about to say, like, are you calling it a forgery? Because I know they exist, but I'm pretty sure Nook doesn't sell them, so something went wrong horribly. But nope, we got another painting for our museum. Which is nice, because it's gonna be even better. Because more paintings. We only need like something like ten more or something, so we're we're slowly whittling down the number of paintings to finish that wing off. Although the uh, fish and bug wing are probably still going to be in progress pretty much up until um, December. That's if we do everything right. There's so many bugs and fish in this game. Here you are. I need a camera. Gimme. Give me camera. I gave it to Bangle. Go find her in another town. Uh, okay, we'll go find Jembat. If she's in this town. Hey, there's Hank. And uh, Jembat's over here. We can just go deliver this to Pecan. And we can continue on our merry little way. Give me camera. <sighs> okay, let's go talk to Tutu. There's a nice lesson that literally no one in this game will ever learn. If you've borrowed something from someone, don't give it away to someone else. Seriously, it's not yours to lend out. Give me camera. I think you forgot and you do it regularly. Okay, let's go talk to Pecan and get her camera back. Then she'll be happy and she'll give us something dumb like stationary, I'm sure. Here you go. Your Pokemon Pikachu. Oh, hey, furniture. That's actually something useful. Hooray! What do we get? A red vase. I actually kind of wanted one of those. I got a blue vase in our house, so, you know. It's nice to have the other one. Actually, I think there's a third one as well. There's like a yellow vase or something. But it's it, it has a slightly different look to it, and I don't care much for it. Okay, well, now I guess we're going to go hit rocks with shovels, get some bells and go look for weeds. See if we can do some more good jobs for people to make them happy, which makes us happy, which makes the town a better place. Nothing there. Although if they ask me to write them a letter, they can write themselves a letter for all I care. Well, thank you. Alright, come on, magic money rock. Be the magic money rock. Yep, there it is. Unfortunately, we're not gonna screw this one up. I hope. Nope, we did it right, hooray! That's the first. Pick us up, Bitty. We can go talk to her, see if she's got a job for us. Do you need a thing, Bitty? Oh, don't make me catch insects. There aren't many insects, especially at this hour. I can catch fish. Fine, I'll go catch up freaking cockroach or something for you. If it makes you happy. Although I'm not promising I'll actually do it because, I mean, what bugs at this hour? 
Can't hear the mole crickets. I might be able to find a pill bug. I don't really aspire to go catching bees, though. That's just me being Mr. Picky Pants, though. Oh, hey, a digging spot. We got a fossil! And send that to our friends at the museum. That'll make them happy. They love when I send them fossils. Got that. And we're slowly working our way towards a new bank deposit. Almost there. Only, like, 60% of the way there, though. But we're getting there. That's the important thing. Alright, so we found the magic uh, money rock, so I guess now we're just looking for bugs for Biddy. Got a few minutes, maybe uh, Peaches needs a thing before she goes to bed. Peaches, do you need a thing? And would you pay me in a squelchoid? I see that you like them, and I do too. She just doesn't want to give me a squelchoid. I don't blame her, but I want them, they're awesome. Okay, so we're looking for a insect. Let's see if Booker did his job today. Probably not. That seems like a total Booker move. And he didn't. Go team. Way to not disappoint. I believe Katrina's in town today, so we're gonna go faceplant a bunch, I feel. Get rid of that. Pill bug. No pill bug. But I want a pill bug. One of the few bugs I can catch at this time of day. Bonk, nothing there. Not seeing much in terms of anything. Haven't seen Katrina yet. Ooh, let's get rid of that. Pill bug. No pill bug. Alas, the quest to get Bitty an insect manned in failure. Ball with your stupid fizz X. Eh. No, not out to open water yet. No, don't go that way. Why don't you go this way? Yeah. Goodbye. We won't miss you, you stupid ball. All right. Nothing there. Nope. Does Tutu need a thing while I'm here? Do you need a thing? Yes, I plan it that way. I ask you for stuff to do when you have nothing to do expressly, just because you have nothing for me to do. That is the plan entirely. You caught me. Alright, uh... any rocks around here, I don't think, and I'm not seeing any, like, cockroaches. On the bright side, it looks like we got all the weeds in town. So our town perfectication plan is working kind of well. Small victories. That's, that's the important thing, is we make small victories. Nothing there either. I think we've gone and, uh, Hit almost all the rocks. Checked almost all the acres for weeds, and they're all gone, which is good. You need a thing again, Pecan? Yes, she did. Yeah, I can do a thing for that. Let's take these clothes down to Spike. Get him out of those prisoner uniforms. Because he doesn't deserve to be in prisoner fatigues. I can see Spike maybe wearing like a leather jacket with a million zippers to look like some kind of weird biker, but prison fatigues don't cert, don't cert, don't suit Spike very well. Spike, I have shirt for you. Please take it. Take this shirt and wear it. Oh, 
What shirt are you even wearing? You're kind of covered by your text box a little bit. Oh, it's it's that weird puke uh, flower shirt. I think it looks better on you than it did on me, that's for sure. I don't need tips, I just want to know if you need a thing, Biscuit. Okay, I guess I'll go deliver a watch to Stu in another town, which is my old town, which is the only other place he could be. Which he's probably already moved out of. And I think it's a little late to um, catch bugs in that town too. I think it stops being... Uh, Time to catch stuff around 7, so... Alas. Or at least it's something we can do. Onward! To adventure! And also delivering of watches! your new favorite if you've got a new favorite is it pecan or two two oh it's rover here he is but it's not um not the lady with the face you can doodle on It's weird you can't get that shirt. Yeah, I like Pecan. If I don't mind uh, Pecan, she's probably probably the best person in our town at this point. Her or Tutu. So yeah, I, I can see Pecan being your new favorite. She's got the same personality as uh, Kitty and Olivia had. So it's kind of understandable. Although Biddy does too, and I don't like Biddy all that much. Okay, first things first, I have to check and make sure my two favorite villagers are still in my town. Because if not, I think I'm just going to go curl up into a corner and cry. Because they're my favorites and I don't want to say goodbye to them. Pierce is here. Pearl's here. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. We're all good here. Everyone's fine. Except for this ball. This ball needs to disappear forever. Go away, ball! No one likes you. Hooray! Mission complete. We thwarted Ball and its horrible plans to utilize its Fizz X to conquer the world. Hey, this guy actually left his house. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You forgot this. Because you left it with Bizkit. I'm here to deliver it. Thousand Bells. I think that's one thing. Uh, if you follow a villager to another town to complete a job, you get a better reward, at least in terms of bells. Like, if it's stationary, you're still getting stationary, but... But, uh, if it's like a monetary reward... I can get you a pear. That's my home fruit. What do you need, Pearl? Do you need a thing? I'm always up to help you. You're my favorite. Actually, Pierce is my favorite, but you're tied with my favorite. Okay, so we need a pair. That is very apparent. So where, where will we find ourselves a pair? I don't think I had too many pair plants because I didn't think pears were all that cool. And I know I don't have many oranges because oranges were kind of just tricky. There's Olivia. Is Kitty still in this town? I miss you, Olivia. 
I could deliver things to Tangy, I guess. I mean, I don't want to, because it's Tangy, but sure. We can do that while we look for a pair. Hey, here's my boy, Pierce. You need a thing? You don't need a ball. Balls are evil and will take over the world if you let them with their evil fizz acts. Don't be tricked by them, Pierce. It's not worth it. It's Quetzal. I think Kitty was living around here and now she's gone forever. That's depressing. Hey, there's Spike's clone, also known as Spike. But I'm not seeing any pears. Where, oh where, will we find ourselves a pear? Ah, here we go. Go team. Chown Goldie, Tangy, Spike and Ace, Quetzal, Olivia, Cookie, Pierce, Weber. Yeah, Kitty and Bangle are gone from this town now. That's depressing. On so many levels. Damn it. Alright, I gotta give a thing to Tangy. The orange that looks like a cat. Take this. Take this, take this, take this, take this, take this. Actually, that kind of looks good on you. That stripey six shirt. Hey, furniture! Furniture's awesome. What furniture did we get, though? An odd clock. I actually do like the odd clock. I already have one, though. And we've got a phonograph for old-timey music listening. Elma, take pair. Take a pair. A shanty wall. That seems like a pretty weak prize there, Velma. Come on, talk to each other. Be bestest friends. Oh, you made Pearl sad. I hate you, Velma. Don't make Pearl sad. She's awesome. Okay, plus some bells. Plus we can sell pretty much all this furniture except for the uh, regal thingy. Oh, right. Let's go check the dump. See if there's anything cool in there. We got a checkerboard tea. We can play chess on this thing, possibly. Kinda. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, I, I think I gotta stick with my old faithful Hawaiian shirt, but still, you know, I, I think that checkerboard tee, that checks out. All right, Mr. Nook. I've got some things I need to sell. You can have that, and that, and that, and that, and that. But not that. But you can have that. Alright, some more bells. Almost enough for a bank deposit. Which is pretty exciting. So maybe we'll try and uh, stock up on fruit while we're here. Yeah, that's kind of cool actually, this uh, ring shirt, but I don't think so. What's this? A Vogue top. I don't think so. It's not quite my color. Although, I do see a piece of regal furniture I don't have. I mean, I already have a table I like, but, you know, we'll, we'll take it anyway. Because I do kind of like the regal set. And bits of the exotic set. I think those two are probably my two favorite sets. At least in the first game. Actually, what we'll do is we'll uh, gather fruit while we're here. Sell them to Nook here. Grab some flowers and go home. That way we can pay off another bank deposit. Plus, plus flowers. For our ever-expanding Garden of Awesome. We'll take that. And that. And that. I think there's one there. It's got so much crap on the ground. 
And that. And that. And I think we're out of space. Now we are. And I think I see one or two digging spots around nooks, so I'm willing to dig up some stuff around here. Why not? Got a bunch of fruit you can have, Mr. Nook. Oh, right, right. Okay, I'm dumb. I forgot. Apples are the native fruit of this town. They're not worth much. So we gotta leave apples alone. It's everything else that's worth stuff. I think I saw a digging spot around here. Found it. Someone buried a pitfall. There's a digging spot right here, and that's a fossil. We can do something with that. So let's uh, let's go through here. Throw that away. And write a letter to good old Mr. Museum. We have to exclaim at them because it's that exciting, this fossil. It will completely blow their minds. Shake that. And I'll grab that. And we'll grab this. It's weird ignoring apples now because apples are so worth so much in my town. But that's the native fruit here, so they're not worth much. I'll just equip a bug net because bug nets. Oh, not want to go play bug net. It's been a while since I've touched that game. That was an interesting game. That was like um, the Sanrio time net games and like the, the space net games. Although I don't think it was actually related to either. All right, let's sell ourselves some peaches and cherries. Almost there. Two more loads and we should be able to pay off another bank deposit. Hooray! And the bank will be even more happy with us. Okay, so we gotta go find ourselves some more fruit. Found some. That was easy. Gonna shake that tree and pick up some fruit. Gonna shake this tree and pick up some more fruit. We're gonna weirdly ignore apples because apples are the fruit kryptonite of this town. Actually, I, I don't know if that's an apt statement because kryptonite, I think, is a really rare element. A lot of people don't know this. Kryptonite only exists so that uh, they could. Uh, take Superman out of commission for radio plays when his uh, actor needed a vacation. That, that's literally why Kryptonite exists. Just so they could uh, not have Superman in a few episodes so he could take a vacation. And then it became like the one thing he was weak to, which I would argue made him a terrible, terrible character. But provided, uh, you know, before that he was even worse because he had nothing he was weak to. Now he's like weak to one explicit thing, which means if there's going to be any real complications with Superman, it has to involve Kryptonite, which is very, very boring. I've got so many problems with Superman. <laughs> Comic book characters that aren't properly well written. See, that's the thing, if you want to have really good characters, you have to make them complex and, and believable. That said, I've heard of some interesting, like, Superman stories. Like, there's one where, you know, he, he becomes sort of disillusioned with his own sort of mantra about truth, justice, and the American way because just many people suffer around the entire world, so he renounces his American citizenship to help everyone around the world. It's like, you know, Superman's a terrible character, but that could actually go somewhere interesting because that could involve a lot of deep introspection. You know, you, you can do something with that. I think the real trick is making sure that your characters at least have some complexity to them, and I don't think Superman at least inherently has any. I, I think it all comes down to how like a writer would write a scenario for him. But that's that's how I feel about stuff like Superman anyway. 
Also, he didn't fly. I don't know why, but uh, it wasn't until like the movies that he ever actually flew. That's why they, you know, have that, uh, you know, faster than a speeding bullet, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Yeah, he jumped everywhere. He couldn't fly. Superman facts, starring a guy who doesn't read comic books. And yet still somehow knows at least a little bit about Superman. <laughs> I don't like that diary. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I'm gonna buy it because it's stylish looking. I know in my original town I had one of those. Like, I, I didn't ever use it because all it is is a glorified calendar, but it, it was a nice thing to put on your shelf to look pretty. I find it weird you can't do that with the models in game. Like, they have to be on the floor. You can't put them in or on, like, a table just comes across as a little strange. No, I want this. Give me more yellow pansies. Because we have to make the entrance of our town amazing. Wow, oh, flowers are actually worth quite a lot. I spent like 2,000 bells on flowers. Well, that's easily remedied. But we can do that while we're at home. So let's, uh, let's head back and... Shudder to worry that our only good villager, Pecan, will now be missing, and I'll be sad. I don't want to lose Pecan. She's the only person in our town that isn't terrible. Maybe Tutu. So, we're just waiting on a train. That looks like the same train from, um, Paper Mario a little bit. Like, I'm, I'm just reminded of the colors of the train, like the red and black. I guess that's kind of like your standard train color, I guess. I don't know, it's been forever since I played Paper Mario. I really want to again. That was one of my favorite N64 games. I got stuck on that game for so long when I was a kid, just on the boss of like the uh, penultimate level, like the giant cloud. That boss I had a lot of trouble with, and he's not even a hard boss, which is kind of embarrassing, but... You know, I, re I really like um, Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door, but they're so expensive and hard to find nowadays. I don't even own a proper, like, uh, Mario 64 either, or Mario 64. I, I own a Japanese Mario 64 that has Rumble, which is kind of cool. I had a Rumble pack, but uh, I don't own a proper Mario RPG either. Uh, that game goes up in price quite a lot, but fortunately I've got uh, the SNES Classic as well as numerous multi-carts that I have it on it, so, you know, I can play it if I want, I just don't officially have one. Which is sad, because it's a good game. Also, it's like the only game that ever properly used Mallow or uh, Gino, which were like two of the best Mario characters, never to really be seen again, except in like tiny cameo bits. If I recall, uh, Gino showed up in uh, Mario Luigi as like a, a piece of like a HUD for like a mini game, and it was like, why is this a thing? This just makes me sad. <laughs> he was awesome. Plant that. Shout out to Gino. Gino's awesome. <laughs> it's kind of weird Gino hasn't really been in anything since... I, I think it might be because that was like partially like a Square published game that that might have like some kind of... They might partially own the character or something and that makes it really hard for them to uh, utilize in any real meaningful way. That's kind of sad because it's a good character. He's a star-powered doll with machine gun hands. What the hell? Someone's living here. Oh, yeah, Alfonso. That's right. I forgot he was here. Let's see, Biscuit Bell, Peaches Cookie, Huggy Hank. Well, I, I think the uh, map respawns when we enter a building, so let's find out. Clenching in fear that we're going to lose, be gone. Oh, she's still here. Actually, I think everyone's still here. Okay, I, I may have been preemptively worried, although it's still quite likely she'll disappear forever and I'll be sad. Because Kitty's gone forever and so is Bangle, and they were like two of the best people in this town. Damn it. 
I, I really do not care for the uh, whole, you visit another town, therefore you lose a town member. Cody brain fart. Fine, I'll go do a thing with Cody brain fart. Just to unsteam your broccoli, Tutu. Oh, and I need some fruits. And that should be enough to make a bank deposit right here. So I think we're good. Let's go find Cody brain fart. Which last I saw was around here. He does not appear to be still though, so he moved somewhere. Diabolical. He knew we were looking for him and he ran off. Typical Cody brain fart move. And Tortimer over here in like some of the worst places ever. Tortimer goes somewhere else, somewhat better. Usually involving a waterfall. Here is not good. Look, if you follow me, I'll show you expressly where there should be a bridge. Would that help? I think it would, Mr. Mayor. And then you don't have to have a nervous breakdown and go become a hobo again. Unless you want to. I, I mean, it's up to you, but, you know. Oh god, we're gonna end up falling flat on our face a whole bunch more, aren't we? What's my fortune? By an old sign, a crunchy grandma will be doing push-ups. That sounds all kinds of unpleasant. I think that means that nothing's gonna happen and I just wasted 50 bells. I think there is it like an actual proper good fortune, but I don't think I've ever seen it. I caught you, you sneaky ninja who's trying to stay out of the way. You can move, that's okay, Cody Brain Fart. Alright, I'll go talk to Huggy. This is the original GameCube Animal Crossing, played on an actual GameCube. Although I could be playing the N64 version, which is 99% the same. Alright, now Huggy, I think, was over here. Okay, she's not here, so we gotta go find her. And that usually means that when a villager's not in the acre of their house, they're usually won over or by the wishing well. Now I know she wasn't by the wishing well, so that narrows that down a little bit. Oh sure, now there's a train, not when Tortimer's hanging out on the tracks. Away you stupid ball. I don't think that can actually clear the uh, lake, which is a little sad. It'd be kind of cool to see if you could actually like ramp the ball across the lake. Then you wouldn't have to worry about uh, trying to get it across the bridge with its physics. Because physics in this game is not great. There's Belle, who's happy, which means she probably talked to someone. I'm not seeing someone to talk to. Around here. Just wait, she ended up leaving. And then we'll have to go find her again. In the other town. After she replaced my favorite villagers. And I'll be sad. But at least we'll know where she is. There she is. I'm not trying to avoid you, I just need a camera. Okay, now I just gotta run this down to Tutu. And then, I, I guess we'll go sell some stuff to Nook. Oh, there's Tutu. Go make a bank deposit and do our daily exercise. That is your camera, Twinkles. Alright, that's a few bells. Not not many, mind you, but eh, a few. I'll take it. I won't complain. A few bells is better than no bells. 
Unless it's a Nobel Prize, in which case, Nobels might be good. Ooh, or the Nobel Gundam. Nobel Gundam was kind of neat for a niche sort of thing. I've got some fruit for you, Mr. Nook. That should be more than enough. And now we can go make a bank deposit and get rid of some letters. Courtesy of our bestest buddy, Phyllis. Ooh, I make her life better every day by giving her something to do. On wood to Phyllis. Next is the mighty e-reader that no one's ever used in the history of human race because e-reader. Plus I have some fossils for you, Phyllis. Well, they're not for you. They're for you to hold until you give them to the museum, but you know what I mean. Oh, please. That's it. But I still got more I need you to do for me, Phyllis. Boop, 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 boop. We're getting there. We're about 65% of the way towards a box of tissues. Hell yeah. Best prize ever. Totally worth the 1 million bells it costs to get there. Stupid ball, go away. You ruin everything. You're like the Cody brain fart of physics objects. Alright. Now for our magical exercise routine as we say hi to our bestest friend, Bunny Bee Balloon. Alright. Let's see if we can get past without getting completely knocked out so early this time. Here we go. Now again, I'm still working with no audio, so this is going to be a little tricky, but we'll see what we can do. out until he ends up uh, doing a special at about the uh, 40 second mark. And I think that might be the instant kill. Yeah, if he doesn't get up on one, it's the instant kill. No one gets up on a nine count ever. He's done. Alright, good start, good start. We're doing better than we did yesterday. Alright, it's time to hit the stash a bunch of times. Hopefully I can get the uh, timing down, because it is, it's a very simple pattern. It's easy to get, but it's, it's tricky to like just hop in and get the timing down like that. That's a little late. But it's sort of like a almost metronome sort of thing. It's like once you get into the pattern, it's hard to get knocked out. And then once you get knocked out, it's hard to get back in, but. Okay, we got three stars, that's all we needed. That's two. Alright. Dodge, punch, and that's three. Alright, so that guy was simple enough. We've got Eyebrows Magoo. Alright, Eyebrows, let's go. It's 
really just figuring out when he'll do his uppercut. That's the real tricky part. There it is. Whoa, time that off. I don't think that actually, um... I think the second version of that attack actually goes longer. That's interesting. Come on, stop blocking. This might actually end up going into a second round, that's depressing. But, alas, sometimes these things happen. I can't believe I got the timing on that initial one off so badly, though. That's what's gonna cost us the uh, first round. Unfortunately, I guess it can't be helped too much. Nice freeze frame, though. Let's go. I'm gonna be really sad if this goes into round three, and he it shouldn't by any means. Ah, I knew that was coming too. And I let it happen. Decision. You've got way more points than I'd ever need to do that, too. And that's a TKO. And of course, now we get the awesome password screen of great justice, as well as the accompanying Melon Suit of Destiny. We've got the easiest fight in the game. Let's go, Toupee. have to dodge his initial punch and he's done. And that's a victory for us. Have some water. Next, of course, we've got the Princely Potamus, the one, the only King Hippo. fight, not me. Nope. 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 
Nope. There it is. Nope. 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 There it is. He's down for the count, although that took a minute longer than it should have. But of course, he's the one in control of this fight. He's the king for a reason. Okay, now we gotta fight the great and mighty magic man himself, Great Tiger. guy I can fight offensively after that and that really knocks me for a loop even now. The sad thing is even after I beat the guy I'm stuck on there's still like five more fights. I'm getting plenty of practice. Plenty of practice, rather. Speaking, it's hard. Two, that's another. Of course, now we have to start playing defensively, which has never been my forte ever, so here's where things go south real quick. The turkey from Turkey. Ball bowl. the uppercut. Yeah, the bright side, I'm getting really, really good at these fights. At least the ones up to the point where I have to start playing defensively anyway. One, two, three, quick dodge the uppercut. Or not. Being able to hear that attack scares me a lot, though. That is mostly an audio cue for me. some password screen, and once again, the Melon Suit of Champions.
I can take this guy out with decision, and I'm starting to pick up on the timing for his special, but let's see if we can take him out. the audio doesn't hurt my feelings any. I think the audio to that actually messed with me a little bit. I timed it wrong. I can see the uh, opening for it though. It's just a matter of uh, getting there. Get up from that. No one gets up on a nine count. He's done. Okay, and now we hit the wall himself, Soda Popinski. But we're starting to learn from him. Every little bit we get to try and challenge him, that's a step closer to beating him. We knocked him down once, that was pretty cool. Alright, let's try again. Whoops. Time that way off. Uh oh. Still, we're making a lot of progress. One, two, three, turn the punch. All right, that's one. Making progress. Whoops. Uh oh. One, two, three. Come on. Okay, well, that was bad. But we made it to round two and we knocked him down. So we're at least doing better. Oh, that near full health. I appreciate that. Thanks, Doc. that up. Oh, we didn't stall that time. Okay, now I'm totally thrown for a loop. One, two, three. Ah. Come on, we might actually be able to knock him down twice. Or not. I think that's it. Yeah, no, that's it. But, on the bright side, we got to round two and we knocked him down, and we almost got him a second time. So, while I think those counter stars are going to give us a huge advantage if we can get them consistently, we're at least picking up on his standard attacks and countering those normally. So, it's, it's slow going, but we're definitely working... Excuse me. Working our way towards defeating him. Anyway, I think that will be it for today, and I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream and know we go live, because we're doing this every night, as we have up to this point, and will moving forward. Plus, we do lots of other stuff on here, including gathering footage for reviews on my YouTube channel, which you should go see, because, as this sign would indicate, we've got over a thousand vids for you to go watch right now. In fact, I think it's close to like 130 at this point. Seriously, or 130, 1,030. I've done a lot of stuff. And I haven't gone crazy yet. Only time will tell <laughs> within the next one. Clearly, I, I need more sleep, but uh, anyway, yeah. 
And uh, if you really want to make my day, check out the show's Patreon or PayPal. It helps support the show. Kick a few bells my way so I can keep the lights on and continue to do awesome stuff in Animal Crossing. Like, maybe someday, defeating Soto Popinski. I I'm getting very pumped about this because I'm clearly learning him. Unfortunately, after him, there's like five more fights. But still, we're getting there. Might be slow, but we're getting there. Plus, if you support the show, you get yourself on the Discord where we can talk about awesome things. Like, once again... Almost being able to beat Popinski. It's its kind of something I'm pretty proud of. And, uh... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.